Hey guys, Jed here, welcome to another video. In today's lesson, we're going to be learning how to solve quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. Now, in order to have an easier time understanding this topic, you need to know how to substitute values into algebraic expressions. I've left a link in the video description below, so go ahead and check that out if you need to. Also, if you are learning from these lessons and would like to support the channel, leaving a like and subscribing will go a long way. Thank you. Okay, so here on the left, we have the general form for a quadratic expression, ax squared plus bx plus c, and it is equal to zero. Note that the quadratic formula only works for quadratic equations that are equal to zero. If your quadratic equation is equal to zero, then the following formula can be used to find x. x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. The a, b, and c in the formula can be located in the equation like this. a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, and c is the constant. It should also be noted that you have to memorize the quadratic formula. It will not, I repeat, it will not be given to you in the maths GCSE exam, and this is true for all exam boards. Okay, so let's use the quadratic formula now to solve this quadratic equation on the right hand side here. I'm going to first begin by writing down the values for a, b, and c. So as you can see here, a is equal to 2, b is equal to 5, and c is equal to 2. Now since this quadratic equation is equal to 0, we can go ahead and use the quadratic formula to solve it. Now let's rewrite the quadratic formula, but with a, b, and c replaced by the given values. And that looks like this. As you can see, the numbers have replaced the letters in the quadratic formula. Here I have brackets between my 4 times a times c, and that's just another way of writing multiplication. And on the bottom where we had 2a, I have 2 multiplied by 2. Now if you were to put this in the calculator looking as it is, the calculator will give you the correct answer. However, if you don't have a calculator, you can proceed as follows. Here we have 5 squared. 5 times 5 is 25. And here we have 4 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2, which is 16. So we're going to have 25 here minus 16. And on the bottom, it's going to be 2 multiplied by 2, which gives us 4. So performing the calculations and simplifying, we get the following. Simplifying further, so 25 minus 16 is 9, leaves us with... Now the square root of 9 is 3, so I can break that down even further. And I'm just going to move everything over to the left hand side here so I have more room to continue my working out. So now we have x is equal to minus 5 plus or minus 3 all over 4. At this stage, you can go ahead and split up the formula into two equations. One with a plus and one with a minus. And that's where the plus or minus actually comes into play. So let's go ahead and do that and see what it looks like. Here we have two equations, minus 5 plus 3 over 4, and minus 5 minus 3 over 4. Simplifying the numerators, this left-hand equation here will give us minus 2 over 4, which simplifies to give us minus a half. And that is one of our solutions. The other solution is by calculating this right-hand side equation with the minus. Minus 5 minus 3 gives us minus 8, and minus 8 over 4 is minus 2. And this is our other solution. And there you have it. This is how you use the quadratic formula to solve a quadratic equation. It seems quite tedious and long at first, but practice this enough and you'll get very quick at it. It's always best to show your working out as well, just in case you have to go over and check your work again. You can see if a mistake was made more easily than if you did not show all of your working out. Now for our second example, we have x squared minus x is equal to 12. We cannot use the quadratic formula to solve this straight away, as the equation is not equal to 0. However, there's a quick fix for this. You can just eliminate the 12 from the right hand side by subtracting 12 from both sides of the equation, and this will give us the following. As you can see, we've subtracted 12 from both sides of the original equation, and it's left us with the following, x squared minus x minus 12 is equal to zero. 
Now we can use the quadratic formula to solve this one. So let's go ahead and do that. Just as we did in the previous example, I'm going to begin by writing down the values for a, b, and c. The coefficient of x squared in this case, even though it's not visible, we know to be 1. The coefficient of x, which is again not visible, but we know to be minus 1, since there's a minus operation here. And finally for c, it's going to be minus 12. We then rewrite the quadratic formula, but with a, b, and c replaced. And this is what it looks like. I will warn you here, you should be very careful in such an example. Since your value for b is negative, putting it into the formula for the minus b part here turns it into a positive because we know that two negatives make a positive. So just be careful with that. And also for this part here, minus one to the power of two, notice how I leave it in brackets. If you do not put this in brackets and use your calculator, it will give you the incorrect answer. So please be very careful. Make sure all of your inputs are in brackets, especially the negative ones. Okay, so our next line of simplification is going to be a positive one here. Minus one to the power of two is just minus one times minus one, which is positive one. And then here, again, be very careful. You are going to do four times one, which is four times negative 12, which is negative 48. So you're going to be subtracting a negative number, subtracting negative 48. And we all know again that subtracting a negative number to minuses make a positive. So it's going to be a positive one here, a positive one here, plus 48. Be very careful with the negative numbers. And on the bottom, we just have 2 multiplied by 1, which leaves us with 2. So calculating and simplifying all of that gives us the following. And now if we simplify this further, 1 plus 48 gives us 49. And the square root of 49 is something we should be able to do without a calculator. So our next line looks like this. 1 plus or minus the square root of 49 all over 2. And of course, the square root of 49 is 7. So this now leaves us with x is equal to 1 plus or minus 7 all over 2. And again, at this stage, we break it up into two separate equations, one with the plus component and the other with the minus component. And that looks like this. So we have x is equal to 1 plus 7 over 2 and x is equal to 1 minus 7 over 2. If we simplify these once more, we should get our answers. So on the left hand equation here, we have 1 plus 7, which is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So that is one of our solutions. X is equal to 4. And the other solution is going to be 1 minus 7, which is negative 6. And negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. And this is our other solution. And there you have it. This is how you use the quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations. I think this example was highly necessary, showing you how to deal with negative numbers when inputting them into the quadratic formula. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've learned something from this lesson. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Like and subscribe to support the channel once again. Thank you very much. Take care.